fat dissolving injections have massively trended over the last few years but we group a lot of different things together under fat dissolving injections and I think it's again really important to understand what you're having injected before you actually go through a procedure. So when we talk about fat dissolving injections like Belkyra also known as Kybella in some countries or Aquilix or Celluform Plus all of these products rely on deoxycholic acid and the products all have differences between them but that's the common theme and deoxycholic acid is a synthetic bile salt our bile salts in our digestive system are responsible for emulsifying fat which means they break fat down and when we inject these synthetic bile salts in solution into an area where you have fat cells those fat cells can be broken down and then passed out as waste by the body now more recently we've also seen fads such as something called the lemon bottle fat dissolving and that doesn't have any deoxycholic acid in in fact I haven't been able to find an ingredients list anywhere that I've looked so even I don't actually know what's in this product but it certainly isn't an agent that breaks up fat cells that I'm aware of because there are not that many things which we can find naturally to do that process we really need to be careful when we're unraveling what we're actually having injected so that we can understand the results we might be able to achieve with fat dissolving injections you'll almost universally need a course of treatments but how many treatments you need and how far apart will depend on you and your anatomy and also on the product and what the protocol recommends for treatment. Typical side effects when using deoxycholic acid fat dissolving injections include swelling which can in some cases be relatively significant. Bruising is also really possible. You can sometimes feel quite numb or just a bit unusual feeling through the area that's been injected and it's important to remember that whenever we inject something we are exposing ourselves significantly to whatever's in there. So if you're having something injected and you're sensitive to it or allergic to it then it is always possible to react to it but this is where it's so important that the product that is being injected has good safety data and has clinical studies behind it so that we really understand what it's going to achieve and what it's going to do for example when we use deoxycholic acid based products and we use them around the under chin area we're very careful about the areas that we treat because we don't want to cause injury or damage to some of the nerves that run in that area because the nerve sheets are also made of fat and we don't want to dissolve those fatty sheaths because they're ultimately going to help maintain our nerve function. So these treatments often come with more risks and more points for consideration than you might think. You might be sitting there thinking, well, I have this neat little pocket of fat I'd like to get rid of, but think very carefully about who performs these treatments for you and what product you have injected. These sorts of treatments should only be being performed by medical professionals. If this content has been useful for you, please give it a thumbs up or send me a little message below and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.